nice and lovely guys so basically um this evening i'm gonna do a, a quick um christmas joe plum juice all right it's a christmas recipe all right just make you guys aware of this is a christmas recipe all right now i'm gonna walk you through it to make you guys can see oh the joe plum come out and now let me tell you all right so what we're gonna do i'm gonna walk you through it with this on an amazing um just to show you exactly all the jewel plum um really lovely and nice all right yeah yeah rise and shine this morning yeah. all right now let's put this one side so jewel plum is this you know what i mean this is what we call it in jamaica jewel plum i brought this from the the market a few days ago and i'll also leave them for them to get like this but when i was in jamaica and growing up my grandmother used to make me june plum juice and i used to love it never forget those days you know what i mean on a sunday when you eat some rice and peas then you would have this our carrot juice our sour sap juice all right um but our grandparents would make it is probably different it will be different from how we would be making it. Because right now I'm going to make some, but I'm going to use my blender to make it. All right? So I'm going to do it a version where it's a little bit more, I think it's more healthier for me. I don't know about you guys, but um, you can use brown sugar or white sugar to sweeten it. But me personally, I'm going to be using some honey. But the flavor from the honey is not going to be like when I use the brown sugar. All right, but it's just for health reason, okay? Um, so basically, for you, you have to make sure you wash off your June plum very good. That's the most important thing to get rid of all of the stain them and bits and pieces off of it. Um, you can make them a little bit ripe like this, or you can leave them very green, okay? So if you don't know anything about June plum, what you can do, you can probably Google it. You know what I mean? Google what's is June plum. All right, guys. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing this recipe for you guys this evening. And it's going to be a simple recipe. It's nothing too complicated. And I want to take the time out to say, if you are not a member of my YouTube channel, please join the membership, guys. Because sometimes I have to do videos for my members. All right. This morning I do a live. And it was just for everyone. This evening I may have to do a live. And it's just for members. So, join the membership and support Chef Ricardo and make it grow as one. All right? Thank you so much. So, June Plum. If you don't know what is June Plum, you can Google research it by typing on Google June Plum, Jamaican June Plum Juice, and it will come up. I think I did a video like this and this before, but I'm just giving you guys an update version. All right? Chef Andre, big up yourself, man. A member of my YouTube channel. Congratulations. and win award, man. So here it is, Chef Andre, a member of my YouTube channel, always supporting Chef Ricardo. Never give up, you know what I mean, cause yeah. Chef Andre, what do you think about the June plum juice? I'm gonna do some June plum juice, but um you can use brown sugar or you can use white sugar, you can use honey, you can use whatever you wanna use to make it. But yeah, for me personally, I'm gonna be using some honey. Alright? Yeah. So June plum juice is just Another level up, I'm gonna show you that. So basically, what you wanna do, you wanna remove it, make sure you wash it off very carefully. Be careful how you're using your knife because I don't want you guys to get cut. Okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna cut up your June plum like this. Just take off one of the piece. Sometimes a lot of people remove the skin, but I only encourage you to remove the skin from the June plum because there's a lot of flavor in the June plum. So you wanna just take a time and use a knife and just cut it apart because there's a seed in side of it all right yeah okay lima yeah 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 i have them there too man <laughs> i have them i have them too yeah lime or lemon you already man say yeah so you, you can remove the skin if you want and trust me june plum is very good very very good guys trust me i never forgot when i was a young man growing up in jamaica and you know what i mean when you're going to school you pass out of you know what i mean a June plum juice, you might want to take off a June plum. So this is what you want to have to do, guys. 
You know, you have to cut away the, the flesh from the seed. All right, but don't go too deep because I don't want you to cut yourself. All right, yeah. So don't go too deep into it. All right. Yeah, man, that looking good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chef Andre, thank you so much for the support, man. Chef Andre have a lot of experience in the making of these kind of juice, you know? Yeah, big up yourself, Chef Andre. Yeah, that looking good, guys. All right. So right here, that's the June plum. We have right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a piece of a ginger. All right. We're going to have a piece of ginger right here. I'm just going to um, slightly remove some of the skin from the ginger. All right. You don't have to remove the skin. To be honest with you, you can just leave it as natural, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you can leave it natural. So you have to have a lot of ginger to bring in a lot of flavor to it. Trust me, that's the ginger what makes the difference all right so guys if you don't know what is june plum trust me do the google research on the june plum so we'll have some ginger and i'm gonna cut up some ginger in this bowl right here just to show you the amount of ginger i'm using because you have to have a lot of ginger for the ginger to the taste inside of it all right so please be careful when you're using your knife do not do what chef ricardo been doing because I got a more professional using the knife, guys. So, you know what I mean? Please use a cutting board to cut your product. All right? So I'm going to be leaving this one June plum for tomorrow. I want to make some June plum and orange juice tomorrow. Take, I'll show you that one tomorrow, guys. All right? Yeah. So right here, this is a June plum. I just cut up them, and they're looking amazing so far. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna simple put the June plum straight inside of the blender now. Um, so basically, roughly, I use a probably about four to five, four about four to five June plum, something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, that's probably the amount I use. So I'm just gonna put the June plum into the blender. But this, guys, trust me, on a Sunday you have to make this. Probably even on Christmas dinner you wanna do a little bit of June plum. All right. And then we got some ginger cut up. We're gonna put some ginger straight inside of the blender. All right, that's looking lovely. And then I'm just gonna be using some natural water right here. And I'm gonna put a lot of water inside of it to free up the blender because it's a string. All right, so you wanna free up the blender. All right, and that looking good. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to make a little bit of a noise. Sorry about the noise, but the noise needed, okay? To do this thing really the right way. So as you can see, that's looking good. Then what you want to do, you want to have a strainer right here for you. You have to run it through your strainer, okay? So let's blend up this. Make you guys can see what's going on, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you something. Because this is a June plum, but my blender, you know what I mean? So it look like it thick. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna have a little bit more water to it, to thin it down a little bit. That mean it can go through the strainer a little bit much better, all right? So we'll put a little bit more water on it. Because this, the blender which I'm using is a very powerful blender and it will chop up anything into pieces. So we'll just give this a blend for a second again. Lovely. All right, now what we're gonna need to 
do is to run this through our strainer all right here so we're gonna have to run this through the strainer all right guys lovely and this is just a fantastic juice guys 100% you can make this at home please join my youtube channel membership and support chef ricardo all right guys yeah be a member of the channel That's looking good. So what we want to do, we want to move this. All right, and then we're going to pour some more into it. Okay. But this strainer, man, is such a lovely strainer and it breaks away. And I decided I won't get rid of it because it's very hard to find one like this. There's a lot more out there, but this one specific is just for straining stuff like this. But as you can see, exactly what I'm talking about. But the green one, if you can get the June Plum, the green, green one, them guys, trust me, they are amazing. I'm going to plan to make some, you know what I mean, some carrot cake and some banana cake. Get them kit out of the way, ready for Christmas, all right? That means anyone want to learn how to make a banana cake, look forward for the video from Chef Ricardo. That video is coming very soon, all right? Jamaica recipe queen, good morning. All the way in Jamaica. Yeah, man. All the way in Jamaica, Jamaica recipe queen. Big up yourself. All right, now, guys, look at this, as you can see. Good morning, Jamaica recipe queen. As you can see, this is fantastic. So, guys, it's coming up to Thanksgiving Day. And there are... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right, Jamaica recipe queen. And <laughs> Bless you, man. All right, big up the Canada, the Canada crew, man. Big up the Canada crew. Come on, guys. Join the YouTube channel membership and talk to Chef Ricardo. Please. All right. Please join the membership and talk to Chef Ricardo. All right. Um, Jamaica recipe queen, I want your version of the the June plum juice for Christmas. All right, yeah, yeah. I want your recipe for the June plum for us for recipe for Christmas. Chef Andre, do you have a recipe for June plum juice for Christmas? Alright. Now, guys, there's two things you can do. Alright. Trust me. Um, I, I don't know if this is the right way still, but... Um, Could it either use some, you know what I mean? See that? Some good dark brown sugar to sweeten it. All right, you can use this to sweeten it. But me personally, guys, I don't like too much sugar. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I try to avoid sugar. I don't know why, man. So basically, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just cut a lemon, a lime. Sorry, guys, a lime. Right, we're gonna squeeze up a lime inside of it, or you can use lemon. All right, all right, so I'm gonna squeeze out the next one half. So I'm just using one lovely. 
See? Nice. So that's squeeze out properly. All right. Give that a mix. Oh, look at that, man. Now, what you want to do, squeeze some honey inside of it. And we're going to try the honey. All right? So the next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it for... The one that we like sugar. You know what I mean? Alright, so what we're gonna do, taste it. We have to check, we have to try it to see where we are. Let's try it. Okay. Oh my god in heaven. No, sir. That's a little bit more honey though. Alright, that's a little bit. This is amazing, guys. Trust me. 100%. Chef Andre, share your recipe with Chef Ricardo, man. June plug juice ready for, for Christmas. All right. All right, now, this is how you have to serve it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to serve it this way. So let's get the glass and get some crush up ice. All right. Yeah. This is how you have to serve it. All right. June plum juice. Ta hey, J, Tara J, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming on the show. Here's another member. Big up yourself. One heap of love and respect, man, from Chef Ricardo. Really appreciate it. So that's the way how you have to serve this kind of juice right here. There's no other else way to serve it more than this way, guys. Trust me. All right? 100% you have to serve it this kind of way. If you don't serve it this kind of way, it's going to spoil. All right? Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, look at that, guys. That is fantastic. Now, I can't understand what's going on right here. So what you can also do, you know what I mean? Simple. You can um, cut some slices of lime and just put it inside of it, just like that. All right, just like that, man. Beautiful. Give that a mix again. And then we're going to pour this inside of it. Wow. Wow. This sounds like Christmas. I'm sorry I never have a cherry to just drop on top of it. But next time, I'm going to come with part two. Definitely. I'm going to have to come with part two. So the next time I go, I'm going to have to buy some more of this. And an amazing recipe right here. Wow. Guys, if you ever see what's going on in the kitchen, heaven in the mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah, this name, heaven in the mouth. It's this, this seems like Christmas now. All right? Yes, this seems like Christmas. Yes. Um, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right? We've got a lot more recipes coming and a lot more ideas will be coming. All right? So... This look like it is Christmas, 100%. This looking fantastic, amazing. The whole texture, everything is just like, yes. Um, Jamaica recipe queen, send over your recipe for Christmas, man. June plum juice. All right, yeah. This seems like Christmas. Guys, this is exactly what Chef Ricardo talking about. June plum juice. Oh, Guys, look at that good. Just take a good look. Oh my God. Do you see exactly what's going on? All right? That's exactly what Chef Ricardo talking about. All right? So, yeah. It is, it's just amazing recipe. 100%. All right? Yeah. That is... That is a good one. All right, all right, Jamaica recipe queen. Um, Chef Andre, Tara, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, 100%. You guys have a lovely evening. And, you know what I mean? 
part two recipe will be coming up for Thanksgiving Day. Alright, that's the order of the person who loves sugar. I'm gonna do a brown sugar one. Alright, we're gonna be using brown sugar the next time. So look out for part two video. I'm gonna be getting the green one when I go to London. I get the proper green one them. I met June Plum Juice for part two. Rice and peas and then June Plum Juice with some fried plant and ox steel. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe. Jamaica recipe queen, big up herself, Chef Andre. And Tara, thank you so much. Big up herself. Jamaican recipe, big up herself. Recipe queen. She still have the crown over there in Jamaica. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.